boy, I'm just looking <laughs> at the camera here, and I can see myself, and I'm, I'm like so high on Jesus right now that I just feel so good, you know. I mean, that's what, you know, when we were in the world, getting high wasn't, you know, I mean, it was, it was something to make us feel good. And Jesus t took the drugs and made us feel good because of him. Now, I'm not against, you know, drugs. I'm not against alcohol. If you want to drink some alcohol or, or smoke some pot, that's up to you. Uh, I think, personally, um, all things in moderation are good. You know, I'll drink a beer. I'll drink a glass of whiskey. And uh, I know that's, you know, to a, a lot of religious Pharisees and Sadducees. You know, Jesus died uh, not just for our sins, which he did, but he died so we're not under legalism. We're not under the law. If the Spirit of God gave you freedom to have a beer or two or three or four or five and you're at home, enjoy it, you know, or if you go to a bar, enjoy it. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Jesus and the apostles drank all the time, all the time. They were walking down the road, man. They take this sack and drink, you know, they, they're at the table, they're drinking glasses of wine, you know, hey, cheers, you know. It loosens your tongue and you start having good fellowship, you know. I mean, I think in, in the church we should drink real wine and maybe give everybody four ounces of wine or, uh, you know, a couple beers or something like that and then have church and worship and praise the Lord. It would be like a real party that we're praising God because a little bit of wine, a little bit of beer, a little bit of whiskey will loosen your tongue and you'll, if you got the Spirit of God in you, the righteous spirit of God, you're going to rejoice. You're not going to be mean or anything. You know, the Indians used to get real mean, and, and, and they had good reason to get mean because of what the white man was doing to them. But Jesus wants you to have a glass of wine for your stomach's sake. But he also said that he turned the water into wine so that the people at the wedding could celebrate, they could dance and sing and have a good time, you know, nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that. Read chapter 14 in the Living Bible and the King James Bible and uh, and tell me, after you read that, is it wrong to drink wine or beer or whiskey? Is it wrong to smoke a joint? To me, I would not smoke a, a joint, a, a, even though I had lots of marijuana, and did lots of marijuana. But <laughs> I'll tell you a story. I'm going to come back to part two here.